Hello gamers and welcome to episode 8 of Let's Preview Play um, Black Gazer, Creators of Darkness. We're here in Wardenhaft the Academy. There's a librarian. Okay, he's just a normal dude. Oh, damn it. I made a mistake. I misclicked. Sorry. Let's immediately reload. Because I don't really want to fight them. Please stay off the library. It is actually pretty cool that they just tell us to stay off the library and we can go in nevertheless and trigger their hatred. Yeah, you can't and I think it's the librarian who's, who says that, but I had kind of already clicked, unfortunately. Who says that? Okay, yeah, here it's interrupted, and I think I had clicked already inside, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's stay off the library, but this is not the library, is it? Lots of guards everywhere. Quartermaster Hello. Pexius. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. I don't see why not. My skills are at your disposal. Let's talk. I blame the king. Okay, we can't talk to him. What a waste of time. What else do we have in here? A warden of master. Sorry, what? If I'm masked. And here they play chess, the game of kings. I'm listening. I go. My skills are well, all right. In the kitchen is very well guarded. Herbalist, herbalist, adepts, novices. Go ahead, as you say. What do we have here? Just a quarter. Let's go up. I must keep in mind that my guys are still quite injured. You can't be serious. Again, yeah, it's a new soundtrack. Which I think shows that the devs pay attention um, to detail. It's an interesting place. And here they can sleep and then they can immediately go back to their herbs. This is like a Harry Potter school. Hogwarts something. I have the feeling that this academy will become very important. Hello. Okay, this seems to be the leader. Whatever it is you want, I'm very busy. Oh, Biala knows him. Biala. My name is um, Vampiro, Lord Espen. I've been admiring your lovely college. Why do we address him as Lord Espen? Ooh, hello. If wizards could cast death rays from their eyes, 
I'd be standing with two piles of cinders right now. Why does it look as if you two are about to stab each other? I think I... Let's say this one. Yes, yes, but is there something that you specifically need from me? I'm keenly interested in arcane law and as everyone knows, Wardenhaft's library is the best. It seems you've suspended my friend's library privileges, Lady Biala. I wonder if you might reconsider. I'm considering enrolling in a course of study here at Wardenhaft. Let's say that one. Ha, huh, thank you. I needed that laugh. Any friend of that witch is no friend of Wardenhaft. Witch indeed. Pity no one's invented the right word to describe you yet. Professor Mendelroth, I understand she was very disrespectful. It's a common failing of youth. But must she give up her education because of this one rash act? You and I have nothing to discuss unless Lady Biala comes to me and apologizes herself to my satisfaction, mind you. <laughs> when Rothgo lights the candles in the temple of Alnarius. All right, I didn't mean to antagonize you, sir. Can we discuss my other reason for coming? Yes, well, what pray tell is that? Let's say I'm interested in arcane law. That is well and good, but we can't have any old souls stumbling in here and getting their dirty poor prints all over our rare works, hmm? Excepting faculty, which you clearly are not and will never will be. The library is restricted to students or someone with a special dispensation. You could also enter as a guest of someone currently enrolled. I don't know who's going to help you with that, unless I see Biala in my office in a state of extreme contrition. The little visit may indeed turn extreme, but not in the way you hope. Interesting. So that's kind of like sexual harassment a little bit as well. Let's say I'm considering enrolling in a course. I see. I congratulate you on your ambition. Beyond the fee, there's the matter of the test. The task I have in mind is this. The school cellar has a very persistent rat problem. There we go. Rid us of these resilient rodents and I shall submit your dispensation forthwith. Oh no, not that. The only reason he's doing this is to humili humiliate me. You see that, don't you, Vampiro? That's all. I can take care of your rat problem, however I see fit. Naturally, far be it from me to stand between a man and his calling. Let's do it. Godspeed. It's just rats, right? I hope. But I think I need to rest. No, I don't. Okay, I've rested already. And let's take a look at this rat problem. Serious. Good thing we went up first. Upstairs. Serious. Okay, what's going on here? What are they looking at? It's like slaves or something, or monsters, zombies. Potentially. Here they've got a golem. Helping hands. But I see no rats. Golem workshop. I think the rats must be in this kind of sewer system. And potentially this is not part of my preview build.
Yes, I think I think it might just not be in the preview build. There are some novices here I can talk to. But no rats. Golem workshop, yeah. Like I said in a, in the first episode, this is not the actual game, as in uh, the early access version you can get, which contains like the first two chapters. This is a special preview build for the press, special in the way that it's only one chapter and there's a bit less side quests. You can't be serious. Um, also, some bugs that have been fixed already in the early access version might still be in here. Just want to quickly talk to the dude again. You can't See if we can get some additional information, but I just think that, you know, this is in the full game, but not, or in the full early access version. Life is full of surprise. How you deal with them is, will be your measure as a man. Yeah, well, I don't even have the quest entry. Red quest. Or in Academy, solve red problem in basement. Where are the rats? Where is the quest entry? Now, at least we've now tried out, or oh, it's even logging it with a date. That's actually pretty neat. So I think we'll go out the academy and um, not solve the rat problem, because there are no rats. You can't be serious. And explore the rest of this section of the map or this district. And then head to Um, the castle district. I'm actually recording this in the morning before I go to work because I didn't have time yesterday. But I've got my coffee, so all good. All right then. Just walk around the academy once. This is like runes. You can't get some Ultima vibes. Lots of guards everywhere. It's more like a fortress than an academy. But look, he's working here. Or was it a sheep? It's snowing here. And I think it might just be snowing above the academy. So what I like that if I meet some super important people, it usually kind of stops and zooms in sort of. to activate his bow and arrow okay yeah, if I'm not. now let's head up we can still go to the merchants road but let's head to the to the castle district for the first time
Okay. So there's Kjavalvis mansion. There's the Hall of Records. The Embassy of Zida Zuda. Now it's night. The Embassy of the Northern Realm. Northam Realm. But it should be Northern, right? Embassy of East, the Eastern Empires and the castle. Let's head straight to the Hall of Records and hope they are not you closed at night. Otherwise we'll just camp here. Make way, Kamala. Can't s you see that Lady Biala is trying to come through? I beg your pardon on this unworthy person's behalf, my lady. Thank you, sir. But this is, uh, this Kavanaugh is actually a friend of mine. Oh, really? Really? He is not holding you hostage or anything like that, is he? No, not at all. But we do have urgent business in the Hall of Records, may I? Of course, my lady. You and your friend are free to come and go as you please. So maybe without her we could not have gone, gotten in. Lots of scrolls here. You can't be serious. My lady, it is good to see you. And you, record keeper, I know you're a busy man, so I'll get right to it. My friend Vampiro needs information about a certain nobleman. I know if anyone can help us, it's you. Very flattering, Lady Biala. And also very correct. Sir, what do you wish to know? What is the fate of Lord Aspen? Dead, I'm afraid. Killed in a raid on his estate just as the war erupted. What happened to the Aspen estate? Sacked by Derengold the Savages. The King's scouts reported no survivors and worse, some dangerous creatures have decided to make it their den. The Crown cannot spare the Mentor to clear them out. So I suppose it shall fall to the heir of heir, heir or heirs who claimed the estate after Lord Espen's demise. Well, um, the disposition of the Espen estate is of course confidential. I am legally bound to discuss that topic with no one who isn't directly concerned. That is to say, blood relatives only. Now we can say I am a direct descendant of Lord Espen and his son, in fact. I only discovered after his death that Lord Espen was my father. Well, guess what? You are looking at the new Lord Espen. Tell me where to sign so I can start being rich. No, let's not say that. That sounds very greedy. Let's say this one. Well, that is interesting. Espen did have an heir, a son named Altna, but there's no way for Altna to claim the legacy since he quite decisively turned traitor to the crown. The matter of the patricide makes him doubly damned on that account. My sympathies for your loss, by the way. Thank you. Can you help me claim my title? Did Lord Espen never recognize you as his son when he was alive? No, can we hurry things along a bit? Or, if I knew there were going to be this many questions, I'd just have stayed poor. Let's just say no. No matter. We have a record of every noble title and line and knighthood in Isil Meralt, right here in this building, going back centuries. I merely need to locate the do correct document confirming your claim. Shouldn't take more than an hour, providing I don't get turned around in the stacks. Make yourself comfortable. Perhaps you would like to pursue his treatise on the correlation of grain supply with the number of offspring in noble houses. Funny. Okay. Here he comes. Oh my, 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 oh my. Record keeper, are you ill? I feel dreadful, my dear. Oh, yes, I do. It's all quite troubling, very troubling. What, do you, what did you find? What did I find? It's what I did not find that is so vexing. There's no record of Vampiro's birth at all. Oh, no. Isn't it frightful? I don't recall that I've ever searched for such a record and found an error like this. This whole house rests on the concept of a complete genealogy of noble lineage. lineage. From the highest of the high, his majesty to the lowliest count. 
yeah, but well, we were born by someone poor, I guess, like a poor mother or something. But what does this mean to me? Yes, I can't remember anything so frightful happening either. Imagine how I feel. This raises the question of what, whether I even exist since there's no record of the event. Let's say number one. Ah, yes, you. Let me set aside this blow to my life's work, to my very being. Yes, let's put that down and return to your very urgent request. If you wish to claim the title and estate of the late Lord Espen, you must find documented proof of your lineage. And if no such proof is available here, it must be found on the estate if or nowhere. Return to me with the correct documentation and I will see that you are recognized as Lord Espen's son and heir. What a waste of time. All right then. Party gained 2000 XP. So I think that's what we need to do, right? Clear out our home and also go to the southern road. To kill some undead. First we can take a... Oh my goodness. Lord Alfred. You can't be serious. It's cool that he just says, hey, come here, come here, but he doesn't automatically send us there. Hello. Hey, you, yes, you, come over here. I seem to have forgotten my scroll of invitation in the Hall of Records, and I have a very important meeting shortly in the Royal Palace. I can't just barge in without it. Make yourself useful, go fetch it for me. A noble cause. Hmm. Where have you been? Have you found my scroll yet? It is of utmost importance that you bring it to me. If you don't, your lord will not be pleased to hear about your insubordination towards Lord Alfred. Could you tell me where to look for your scroll, Lord Alfred? You never told me where you left it. I have not the time for you silly questions. I'm sure you can find a scribe to pass the begun. I don't like him. But let's take a look. Maybe we can use the document to get into the palace ourselves. You can't be serious. Did somebody take my quill? There's no scribe to, to help us out, I think. Oh, that's a nice scroll of identification. But I could identify the items before, so I don't know why that is. symbol mean? He's got a level up, I presume. Yes, he does. I think we are the better brewer. No, we are not, actually. Let's give him the brewing. I'm listening. Yes. What is your wish? Yes. Yeah, he yeah, becomes our be brewer nice. now. Thank you. And he's our pick locker. Huh? And with regards to weapons, I would like to give him lots of bow and arrow competency. I'm not, what a waste of time. You're not approved to... Oh, Lady Biala, we are honored by your presence, milady. Thank you, that's very flattering. 
My friend here has urgent business in the palace. Whether or not he's been approved, I will vouchsafe his character. I regret to say I cannot accommodate your request, Lady Biala. I have my orders. Perhaps if you would take a moment to hear me out. As the lady has told you, though, it is really none of your affair. I have urgent matters to attend to here. Though you may not recognize me, I am a lord of the nobility. This is obviously a dead end. We have to try something else. Let's say that one. Kindly do not interrupt Lady Biala. You know, I have the ear of many within the palace walls. I could have you removed from this post within the hour. Whoever you know in the palace, their authority does not supersede the king's. And on his orders, we are not to admit any unrecognized, untitled persons, whoever they may, might be traveling with. This is obviously a dead end. We have to try something else. It seems like you won't be getting in without a noble title of your own. Come on, let's get going. If I'm Mars. So we really need to get that noble title. But let's take a quick look at, you know, this mansion at least. As a guard, I think they won't let us in. Or will they? Door is blocked. So what we should do now is actually rest and then um, go on the next adventure. Adventure, adventure forth. So let's sleep. Oh, they won't tolerate it. I think that we should try to... We should try to clear the merchant road first. Let's see if we stumble into a fight. I hope not. Because it would be good to sleep first. Or to take a long rest, I should say. Alright, here we are in the rain. But I will end this episode and then we will try to clear the road in the next episode. We should be here somewhere, right? Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.